Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saint Terra. Hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Alright, it's time to throw down some cards for Pisces. Just cut into the chase here. This reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first half of May. If it resonates with you, good. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Pisces. It's really not supposed to. Um, you share energies, but you're not all necessarily going through the same thing at the same time. That's where your sun, your moon, and your rising, and your Venus signs all kind of intertwine, and the energies do their thing, and you know what I'm saying? So, if it's not resonating, check your moon, rising, or Venus sign reading. That's why we do that. Or just, you know, forget you ever saw it, throw the reading out altogether, put it out of your head, and walk away. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and may be versa, vice versa, and might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. Cross-watchers are always welcome here. I appreciate your existence, and I feel your pain. Trust me. Okay. Two more for Pisces, and we're going to get going. For all of you who are wondering who might be a, a Scorpio in here cross-watching for a Pisces, well, where's my reading? Scorpio is next. There's a method to my madness, trust me. Alright, Pisces, two more. I'm hearing two more. One. I'm going to do this wrist twist thing here. The universe is doing its thing, lining up the cards. The universe knows where the cards are going to go. Okay. Pisces, why are you here? The devil card. Very open ended, very loaded. You could just be dealing with a Capricorn. <laughs> Um, it can speak of energies of a certain nature. A little salt and salt and a little sugar, know what I'm saying? Obsessive behaviors, toxic behaviors, very powerful connections, very open-ended. We might get some clarity, we might not, it depends on what the rest of the cards say. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with, the Nine of Swords, your, your little bat poop bonkers? All crazy. All up in your head. You're up late at night thinking about them. That's pretty indicative of a little bit of obsessive behavior. What do you think of them? Or stop. Go back to this. Maybe you feel like they're a little obsessed with you. Flip side of the coin there. What do you think of them? Page of Cups reversed. You don't see them as very talkative. They're not necessarily e expressing feelings in your eyes. That's a game changer. What do you want from them? Tower reversed. You want to rebuild the tower. The tower has already fallen with this person. Hmm. You want to rebuild what has been destroyed. How do they feel about you? Temperance reversed. They see you as imbalanced, impatient. The energy is not flowing properly as far as they're concerned. What do they think of you? Six of Pentacles reversed. This was not equal. This was not a fair connection. Things were not equally reciprocated. It was not equal give and take. Do you get what I'm saying? Things were imbalanced. They see you as imbalanced. The situation is imbalanced. What do they want from you? The Ten of Wands in reverse. They want you to release the burden that you have not released. Or they want to release you as the burden 
and they can't or won't take it however it resonates. What's the obstacle here? The world card. Cycle's closed. It's over. Game over. That's the obstacle. Something has come to an end. What can be done? The Page of Wands. Forward movement. Projected outcome. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. No coming together. No foundation. Okay. That's pretty self-explanatory. But I'm going to throw clarifiers on it anyway. Okay. I just stop and think of where I was at on the wheel. Hey now, come on. <clears throat> Universe, source, and spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Pisces, please, for the first half of May? There's only a couple that are slightly questionable. Why is the Page of Cups reversed here? Thanks. Just kind of flew right out. Two of Cups in reverse. You're not communicating love. It, it's not, obviously it's not reciprocated. The connection's not being acknowledged. They think you're not feeling it. Or you think they're not feeling it. Mostly you think they're not feeling it. Because you're kind of up in your head about this. And there's some um, little bit of obsessive behavior going on here. Alright. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower reversed here? Temperance in the upright. You want things to... You want positive energy flow. You want to rebuild what, is, rebuild what has been destroyed. If I could make words work right now. What? Okay, I'm in the middle of a reading. I'll be right out. I love you. He's mad at me. Because he trashed the living room and I made him clean it. <laughs> a little miffed at me right now. <laughs> we'll go check his progress when I'm done here. <laughs> okay. Where are we at? Oh, we have another flipper. Empress. Okay. You want this to grow. You, you want growth. You want expansion. You want... You possibly want this to be the person you have babies with. Okay. All right. Fair enough. What do I need to clarify? Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed here for what they think of Pisces? The other person thinks of Pisces. Thank you. Two of Pentacles. <sighs> I 
They don't see this as equal give and take, but they, they see you trying to make the effort to find balance or to balance things out. You're juggling. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed here? Three of Swords. Two threes on this table. Ten of Wands flipped out. With the Five of Wands reversed. Ten of Wands reversed again, and the Five of Wands reversed. Three of Swords. They don't want to fight anymore. They, they, they see this as burdensome. I hate to say this, even if it if it's heartbreaking, they want this burden gone. They don't want to fight anymore. They just want to end the conflict. They want to end to the burden. That they want it done. Sorry, my hand it just give me a second. All right, throw a clarifier on this three of pentacles reversed, then we're going to get your advice because this is, again, this is pretty self-explanatory. You want it, they don't. They want it, you don't. You are not on the same page. I don't even think you're in the same chapter of the book. I think somebody held on to this or is still holding on to it and needs to let go because it's done over. Why is three of pentacles reversed here? Why is three of pentacles reversed here? Thank you. Six of Swords. There's no coming together. There's no foundation. Moving on needs to happen. Pack it up. Call it a day. It, it's going to happen. I don't think anybody can stop this process. I think it's just a matter of letting the process happen. What needs to be done is forward movement. Page of Wands projected outcome is it not coming together and someone just pack it up and moving on. I'm being told to throw one on the world card. It tried to talk. We're going to see if it comes back out. Why is the world card here? King of Pentacles reversed. It's ended. It's ground to a halt. Dead stop. Nothing's going on. Nothing's moving. Wow. I am so sorry, Pisces. To get your advice. Ace of Swords reversed and the Death card reversed. There Just what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing, there's no point in even talking about it if nothing is going to change what's happened. You are not even in the same chapter of the book. You can talk into your blue in the face, it's not going to change anything at this point. Eight of Cups in the Sun card. And <clears throat> Thank you. 
move forward towards your happiness. Your happiness is on the other side of the mountain. But you have to move away from this. There's connections elsewhere for you. There's happiness elsewhere for you. It wasn't here. It's time. Ace of Swords in the upright, Four of Swords in the reverse. Beating a dead horse. Causing your own restless energy. Poking the bear with a stick, so to speak, or a sword. If you if you try to keep harping on this and, and trying to keep getting answers, keep you're only gonna cause more restless energy and more anxiety. Two more. Knight of Wands in the reverse and the Four of Cups. There's no forward movement here. Meanwhile, if you keep looking back at those three cups of the past, whether they're just sitting there on the table or they're spilled all over the place, the universe is ready to hand you something else and you're not going to see it if you keep ignoring it because you're concentrating on this. Does that make sense? Okay. Pisces, I love you guys to pieces. You guys are great. You guys have been so patient. Thank you so much. I love you guys to death. Um, taking a little bit of a break this week. I'm still going to do the work week top and bottom, the weekend top and bottom. Either Tuesday or Thursday, I'm going to do a, a special Marseille reading for all the signs. You can think of it as kind of like a little bonus. Just a real quick... Um, what I didn't catch in the readings over the last couple of months, maybe some additional messages, but I got to kind of take a break and ease up a little bit because <laughs> uh, I'm burning the candle at both ends right now. So I just know that you loved, loved to bits, be blessed, and I will catch you guys in your next reading.